Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Trezor has just announced support for Solana tokens on the Trezor Model T and the Trezor Safe 3 wallets. So I'm gonna show you how to get this enabled. You're gonna need to download the latest version of the Trezor Suite and run the firmware updates to enable Solana support. I'll show you how to get that done, and then we'll fund our wallets with a little bit of Solana. So stick around and let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the Trezor homepage, and this is where you can download a copy of the uh, Trezor Suite. Normally when you launch your Trezor Suite, it's going to alert you that there's a new version of the Trezor Suite. Uh, when I did that yesterday, it did not alert me, and so I had to go to the website and download the latest version. So if you don't get an alert in your Trezor Suite that there is a new version available, then go ahead and make sure you go to the official Trezor site, trezor.io, and download the latest version of the Trezor Suite, which is version 23.12.3. And uh, I'm going to do this. You can follow along with me if you want to. Um, let's see where we're at here. Um, is there about? Sweet version. Okay. Uh, 23.11.5. Let's check for updates. It says there's no updates. 23.11.5. Uh, if we go to Trezor I.O. And uh, we say we want to download it. 23.1.2.3. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm having trouble uh, getting it. Yeah, there you go. You're right. Let's do it. Okay, and uh, let's just go ahead and exit. And let's run this. Okay, now we can go ahead and run this and launch Trezor Suite from here. Okay, there we go. Ah, and there is firmware update as well. So let's go ahead and do the firmware update. All right, let's see here. I still don't see Solana. Yeah, I think it must be. Oh, there it is. But I need the firmware. Okay, we'll do that. Let's run the firmware update. All right, I've got my device connected. I have my seed phrase written down. We'll hit continue. Um, Okay, I need to restart the device. Ready to go. Or is it... Okay, so I just tap restart there. Okay, and then it asks me to install the firmware. I'll do that. All right, now I have to go back to the screen. All right, we'll click install firmware. And I have to confirm on the treasure again. This cable is not quite long enough. There we go. We'll hit install. Okay, there it goes. All right, we can see that's doing its thing. And I can see it on here as well. All right, so the Trezor firmware was up, updated. Oh, it's restarting my device. Oh, I need to uh, re-enter the pin on this guy. Cool. All right. Now we're done. Awesome. We'll go back in here. All right, this is all well and good. Okay, so we'll go in here now, and yeah, there you go. Find my Solana accounts. Okay, find them. All right, there it is. All right, so uh, let's put some Solana in here, and uh, we can use our Tangem to do that. So let's see. We'll go into our Tangem wallet, and I do have Solana in one of these wallets. Whoops, this one. Okay. So uh, we can uh, receive Sol in the Trezor Suite. Uh, we'll show the full address. Uh, we'll confirm on the device. So they want me to look at that code there and verify that it's the same code. So I'm looking at that. Is that the same I see on my screen? Uh, yes. So I'll hit confirm there. All right, now I have the QR code. So now I can take my Tangem wallet, we'll go to Solana, and we want to do a send, and I'll tap the camera icon so that I can uh, scan that uh, Solana address into my Tangem app, 
And we'll go ahead and just send it all over there for the heck of it. It's not a whole lot. And I'm going to use this card to verify my transaction. So I'll tap send. Whoops, and then it wants me to bring the card up. We're good. That's cool. Off that Solana goes. You can see it's uh, outgoing transaction there. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, let's refresh here. Okay, that's gone. Um, and now uh, we can just go back to our Trezor and we'll go back here to, uh, let's see, we'll go to accounts or Solana and uh, it's there. Awesome, right? Uh, now tokens, uh, I don't see, oh here, boom, tokens. That's awesome. Uh, let's do a receive. Uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, just quickly confirm this. It's the same one, same address, right? We'll go back over to uh, Soul Flare. And uh, I'll find a little uh, tricky Solana. Now I need to connect my ledger. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. I'll unplug my mouse this time. I'll connect my ledger. All right, so I have my pin entered and I need to be in the Solana app. So I need to be in the Solana app. All right, and then uh, now I can go into Soulflare and uh, let's send some of this radium. I haven't messed with it in a while. Let's hit radium. Uh, we can send it all and the recipient will be this address that I just copied over from uh, Trezor Suite. Uh, I could save that, what the hell? Anything, we'll call it Trezor. We'll hit send, and we're gonna need to authorize that outgoing, as you can see on my device. Okay, all right, okay. So my radium is going out. Off it goes from my uh, Soulflare wallet, the one that was protected by my ledger. And we'll go over here and uh, we'll go back here. And do we have any radium? Look at that, boom, cool. All right, that was fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.